Hey everybody, Smitty here. I'm uh, getting ready to go into a Salvation Army store that I've never been to out in the city. Uh, right next to ours. Um, it's like 30 minutes from my house. Um, the, it's a Salvation Army, but I've never been to this one specifically. So I'm going to go check it out and see what happens. I'll let you know after I get out. Hey everybody, so I'm done with uh, the new Salvation Army and I'm actually about to go to a new Goodwill store. Um, I've never been to this one either. Same, that's actually right down the street from Salvation Army, so I'm just going to check that one out as well. And uh, I did get a few things, mostly clothes. They didn't have much for hard goods or you know anything else really in there. Actually, their prices were a bit higher um, than over near where I live um, so I didn't really look too hard at that stuff um, so let's go check out and see if Goodwill's more expensive over here too um, it tends to be actually even though we're basically the cities are butted up against each other um, Clovis tends to be more expensive than Fresno so we'll see right uh, and I'll update you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so I just left my second one. It's already almost noon. I've been out sitting since 8.30. I left the house at 8.30 because it took me about half an hour to get to the first thrift store. But uh, nothing opens before 9 here anyways. Actually, there's one that I put on my little list of places to go, possibly. Um, that doesn't even open until noon. So, I don't know why they open so late. The only thing that opens early in my area is the flea market from Friday through Sunday. And they open Friday and Saturday at 6 and Sunday at 7. So, um, but I did get quite a few good things. Mostly like dishes and some uh, unopened games. Uh, kids games. Um, and... Uh, no, some kids shoes actually also so and I'll recap everything that I get at the end here but let's go on to the next one so I just left the third thrift store I'm at number four now this is a place I've never been this is a uh, looks like it's a trading company I don't know it came up under thrift store so we're gonna go check it out and see how it is so um, I did get quite a few items, pretty much just clothes at the last place. They have a plethora of clothes. I got a lot of um, leggings slash yoga pants uh, and a bunch of t-shirts um, while I was there. I got a couple coffee cups, but that pretty much just clothes at that last stop, um, but a lot of them, three grocery bags full so <laughs> it, it worked out pretty well all right i'll update you as soon as i get out of this one hey there so i actually just hit um well three antique stores so that one was actually not it was called like a trading company but it was an antique store any way you look at it and actually they're all there's three in the same building side by side by side so I sit I I hit not sit I am sitting right now though <laughs> but uh I did hit all three of those um, and got a few things from each one so um, and different stuff like I got some actually some beanie baby toys uh, from the third one that were still in the package but they're McDonald's beanie babies um, so hopefully I got them all for super cheap like a dollar a piece um, and then I got some old super old Schick razors uh, from the second one and the first one I only got um, a couple little things now I'm, for whatever reason I cannot remember what they were but um, I will do a recap when I uh, when I go home and take everything out so I'm actually gonna hit one more thrift store on the way home just to check and see if they still have something I bought some uh, monster high 
dolls not too long ago well last Tuesday I highly doubt they still have them but they were just sitting in a little bowl under a shelf so I'm kind of trying my luck I tried to go there Saturday but they were closed despite their hours saying they're open from 10 to 7 on Saturdays but maybe it was due to the holiday weekend well I'm not sure but um, I'm gonna go check that out and then I'm gonna go home and make some more of this video okay so I'm at home now and uh, I went to actually seven places total eight excuse me eight total um, so I hit three antique stores while I was out in Clovis at the I went to go to one and there are two other ones right there so I went ahead and went to those and then actually on my way home I wanted to hit one more thrift store because I had purchased some Monster High dolls and I wanted to see if they still had the other ones that I left behind and they did so I'm gonna go over everything that I got and actually eight total also included when I stopped at Walgreens to get a drink um, they I was going down the aisle and they had these plushies for sale 50% um, off so I got those plushies but I'm gonna go through them kind of in order um, the first place that I went was the Salvation Army and um, I got this uh, new in box Nova Studio it's like a candy dish I think uh, fancy flowers rose bouquet eight inch um, dish so I got that and then and actually I just added everything up uh, I spent just $245 today um, averaged it all out that's 81 items actually that I purchased today um, which actually made the total cost averaged out per item and that's I got sets of plates the, um, the, the sets I actually only counted as one item uh, for the whole set because that's how they were sold but um, so that actually averaged out to only two dollars and ninety nine cents for each item so I think that actually is a really good cost of goods for these items uh, so this one is just a button-up casual uh, amplify large um, short sleeve shirt in really good condition um, and then this one is a vintage button up short sleeve shirt this is actually by street closed is the brand and normally I would not this is a small normally I would not pick up white shirts but this one is just in super clean condition uh, it does have that little string hanging down. We can take care of that uh, super easily. And then I got this t-shirt just because I love the Goonies. And Goonies never say die. So um, this is a 2XL shirt in super good condition. Uh, so I just couldn't pass that one up when I saw it. Um, my, apparently... Some of my whatnot orders have uh, shipped off. So I did do some uh, whatnot last night. Uh, I signed up to just go on and participate in the auctions, not become a seller yet. Um, not quite sure I have the personality for that, but you know, maybe in the future when I get a little more relaxed. Um, I've only got a few months under my belt doing this, so. Uh, and then I got this uh, San Francisco Seals soccer jersey. Um, it's made by Resto Athletic. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, it seems like every time I go to a thrift store, I am not able to search comps very well. Um, actually, at the third one I went to, I couldn't search them at all, period. Like my phone was just dead, no internet at all. Um, and as soon as I left there, it was fine. So I don't know, it's really weird. It's something about that building, but every time I go there, especially, um, 
hey, I can't search anything on the internet. So I kind of have to fly by the seat of my pants for most of this stuff and hope that they're really good. Um, this one is actually a Bella Canvas t-shirt. Uh, very simple tee, I believe this is a, this is also a 2XL, good size. Um, it's just got these bars back here on the back. Um, really don't like when I can't see myself, so I make sure and get up there. And it just says raise the bar on the front, but it is a super clean t-shirt, 2XL, really nice. Um, and then I actually, I found this uh, Grey's Anatomy by Barco 4 Pocket uh, Scrub Top. Super good condition, actually new with tags, uh, as you can see there. Really good condition. We have a yellow one that's actually a 5XL. And we've had it for a few months. A lot of lookers, but no, no buyers yet. So I thought that a large, in a better color, black, might, might sell uh, and test the waters on that because we are actually in the middle, uh, while well, I worked for the largest um, employer in our valley um, of a hospital system. So um, we have a lot of medical staff and so hopefully we can sell that. I know I'm selling online, but I do sell on Facebook Marketplace as well. Uh, locally, so that's why. And this is uh, a Hallmark, Hallmark, new with tags, uh, parent of a future Hallmark movie star, uh, extra large, good, just in really good condition as well. I don't know why this was donated brand new, but um, I don't mind at all. And uh, let's see, we've got another oh this one actually i think i need to remove three bucks 2.99 anyway because this is an ibs 4xl shirt super cool taller taller collar i don't know how to speak right now the camera's on so i'm illiterate um <laughs> so it's got this cool collar where it's kind of a double collar black and gray and actually two of my favorite colors just in super good condition so once we wash it i'm going to try it on and uh, and see where we go from there uh, if i might keep that and then uh, this one is a free planet i've heard other youtubers talk about this uh, other resellers um, this one is super cool i don't know if you can see that but it's got like a barber shop i don't even know what they're called but the little spinny thing and uh mustaches on there and it's just a cool it's a free planet size medium t-shirt so in really good condition and then we've got another one this is a, a gildan ultra cotton extra large uh, but these sell super well apparently for these uh advertisement t-shirts um got milk was obviously a good one and the brown color is actually really good and the shirts in really good condition and the last one from uh, the Salvation Army is I don't know if this is a vintage shirt or not it is double stitched uh, so it's probably not but it's m o knits uh, extra large but I thought it was a super cool funny t-shirt that says, after 50, everything that doesn't hurt doesn't work. If you can see that. So that's it for the Salvation Army. Um, I had a pretty good haul there. And then the second place I went was the Goodwill and all of that stuff is down here. I will show you, um, I have to take the rubber bands off the plates. I'm going to show you the shoes first. So the coolest pair of shoes, women's shoes that I think I've ever seen are these. Cool, like super tall heel shoes. These are actually called zombie stompers made by 
Iron Fist. And these are actually, it looks like these are wides as well. Size nine. They're just super cool and they go for about 40 to $50 online, um, which I could not believe. I actually was able to check comps to begin with this morning. And then I thought I would check these out. Uh, it looked like these went for about 25 to $30. And since they were $4 at the Goodwill, I thought I would get them. These are Sketchosaurus kids shoes in a really good condition just need to be cleaned a little bit um, and then got these disney branded mickey mouse shoes and they actually still work uh and light up so these are another good 25 to 30 dollars online for these kids shoes just need to be cleaned and they're kids size six And this is Australia's version of UGG. This is the Emu Australia uh, little girls boots. Again, these ones go for $25 to $30 online. Used. Uh, these are in super good condition. Looks like they have a piece of hair in the uh, straps there, but super good condition. And then I actually bought this just because I have two Xbox 360s, I'm waiting for a cable to test out the controllers because you can't connect them without the cable the first time. It doesn't work wirelessly. So I got this because I have the Kinect camera, so I'm gonna test that out and possibly put this game with it as well. I have a couple of Kinect games that I have listed. I may remove those and add them to the bundle. We'll see though, but it was only a buck. So I thought I might as well buy it. And then I found this cool, I don't know what this game is, sequence game. Five in a row, fun for everyone, but it is Harry Potter branded, new, sealed. Uh, it's never been opened. So uh, and these sell for 20 to $25 online. So the average cost, since it was only three bucks per item for the whole haul, that's a really good profit. And then I found this weird little girl's toy called the Blinger. Uh, new in package, never been opened as well. Um, I guess you, you can put little jewels in your hair, actually. That's pretty cool. I didn't even look at what it did. Um, I just searched the comps on this one. Uh, again, I was able to do that early this morning because uh, I wasn't quite so far out, apparently. Um, but this sells for $30 to $40 online. Um, and I'm going to try and throw some comps up on the screen during this video so that you can see them. Um, And this is the first set of plates. Um, just super cool. I'm really not happy about them riding with marker on this thing here. But um, these are Sango Zanzibar Brown. Um, these go, a set of four that I looked up and comped were $54.99. Um, and I have a set of six. So that should tentatively give us about $55. Um, especially, hopefully I can get that marker off. And then we have our other set that's very cool of Merlot hand painted collection. These are really pretty grape and grape leaf. Um, I think these were eight inch plates, um, and these are in really good condition. Same thing, though. the set of two was going for about $35. Um, I have four of them, so hopefully 50 to $55. Uh, 
conservatively for that. And then I got this brand new in the box set of Imperial Estates Crystal Candy Dishes. Uh, original retail price was $30 for these. Uh, when I comp them out, should be right about $25 for this set. And then the last set of plates I also comped out. That was the highest was a set of four uh, for $52, I believe. And oh, let's see if you can get a good look at that. I hope you can see that. It looks like you should be able to, but this is uh, Woodland Home Studio uh, plates. And these, I've got a set of five of them. So hopefully again, these should sell conservatively for about 50 bucks. And so the next place actually that I went was the Walgreens. And that's where I got my cool little plushies. I can't go thrifting without getting plushies. I always have to get some kind of stuff, freaking animal. I don't know why, always. But I'm walking down the aisle and I see a 50% off sale on these. They were $5.99. And I did comp them before I left the store, before I bought them. Uh, they sell anywhere from $17 to $23 a piece for these on eBay. So um, these should sell pretty well, these Stormtroopers. Uh, and obviously they're new with tags. So that's another reason I went ahead and bought them. And so let's go ahead and let's do the antique stores. It'll be easier. Um, well, let's do the one thrift store, that, the last one here. Uh, I got some more Monster High dolls. They need a little work. They're missing shoes and accessories. This one's completely um, nude there. It doesn't have any clothes. But um, again, I saw a set of four she does have her earrings and accessories though which is super good um but i got another four so that gives me 10 of them so we should conservatively be able to make about 60 dollars off of 18 dollars so that should be good i'm actually going to put these with the other one we have a bag full of Monster High dolls. And so the next antique store that I went to, I actually bought salt and pepper shakers. Uh, that's another thing that I just can't seem to not buy is some salt and pepper shakers. These are actually super cool. They've got this gold um, dragon on there. And they're just They've got the cork type stoppers as well. And they're just in really, really cool, good condition. Um, and then I got another set of salt and pepper shakers. These are ducks. They're, they're very cool. They still, they have the traditional stopper in them. So they're a little newer, um, made differently as well. But that's all I got from that one antique shop. And then the next antique shop, I bought them out of these uh, cool razors. This one is actually a Gillette in its case. This is the only one in its case, um, but I'll sh I don't want to take that one out. Um, but they're all different kinds of these wind to open razors. And shout out to Rachel Strickland. She uh, turned me on to these she sold bought one of these for like four dollars or something like that and flipped it for 35 so um i was actually on the lookout for these i got five of them total uh it was 46 dollars for all of them but what you do is you turn the little handle here and it opens up the top and that's where the razor is it sits in here and that's how you shave. I don't know how it works exactly because that's way before my time, but these are 
really neat and should turn a good profit. And then the next thing actually is I got a ton of these. They were in a half off box. Most of them were a dollar twenty-five. These are all all but two, I think. Um, yeah, all but two are Beanie Babies. Uh, I don't think the Babe... Yeah, this one's just Babe brand. So this is Babe the Pig. And then this one is like a Toys R Us Home Depot collaboration. It's just a bear. Um, and then the rest are, are Beanie Babies. This one is like a Toucan or Scoop tropical bird is what his name is and there's a, a giraffe and Nook the Husky and that wasn't the Zazu one my wife's giving me a hard time because I said the wrong name or at least she thinks I did this one is uh, Zazu from uh, Lion King 2 Simba's, Re Simba's Pride like I said, giraffe, this one's a husky dog, all still sealed in the package. This one's like a cheetah, Fre oh, a leopard, Freckles the Leopard. And then this one is one of the, one of the TY bears. Um, but this one is really cool. It's still in a regular package. This is Maple the Bear, um, TY Canada. So that one is pretty cool as well. So that's all I got from that antique store. I didn't get much from the antique stores. Just little bits of stuff because their prices are actually way higher than like a thrift store. So it makes it really difficult to get anything. You know, get much. And then the biggest haul was from one of our thrift stores we've been to quite a few times. These are actually um, called California Pantry. Um, looks like these are stoneware. Again, I could not look them up. They're ceramic, but they're 16 ounce coffee cups. We've had a good luck with selling coffee cups, so, and these ones were really cool, so I thought I would go ahead and grab them. And that actually is the extent of any hard goods that I got from that store. Um, the rest is clothes. So I got this set of Simply Vera um, pajamas. They are in really, really good condition. Oh, I have the pants upside down. Um, that doesn't really help you to see them, but really good condition, stretchy, um, size extra large. So and then I heard that this brand can go pretty well. I got a, um, it's an unlisted brand, size extra large, um, button up long sleeve shirt, and this salmon color, for whatever reason, we also have had a good luck selling those salmon color um, clothes. And then I actually purchased a bunch of like yoga pants uh, slash leggings but this actually is a vintage Cowboys um, jersey does not have a tag inside it looks like they may have cut it off I can't tell though because of the fact that it actually has a tag here it is NFL and Reebok collab uh, extra large number 80 um, the cowboy the logos are rather faded but still in pretty good condition um, considering but uh, I thought I would give that one a try because it is a vintage Cowboys jersey and it has this stretchy fit um, arms as well and then got this pair of oh Abercrombie and Fitch 
Um, these are almost like a cross between yoga pants and sweatpants. I'm not sure. Maybe just lounge pants. Uh, but in good condition. They have these cool zippers on the front uh, with good size pockets. Not bad at all. Women always complain about the size of the pockets on their pants. I know my wife and my daughter do anyways. They always try to get men's pants because the pockets are bigger. And I'm going to bring a bunch over here so that we can go through them quicker. Um, this is US Polo and they're in really good condition. You can see the Polo, US Polo Association. Uh, these again are like sweatpants, jogging pants maybe. Um, size small, I believe. Yeah, small for these ones. And then, I know this is going long. I'm trying to go as quick as I can here. Uh, these are actually Shaver Lake branded. Size small, I believe also. No, medium. Uh, stretchy pants. These are more like leggings than anything. Um, and then another pair of athletic pants. Uh, these are Nike Dry Fit brand. And uh, again, in good condition. Size. Uh, large. Size large. Had to get that in the right light. And these are Everlast brand, size medium. In really good condition. And just need to pull it down there, I believe. I believe that's how they're supposed to go. Uh, workout pants. And then we've got, now I don't know, oh yeah, these are also Nike dry fit pants. Um, size large, in good condition. We've got a little zipper pocket right here. Doesn't look like much would fit in there, but I don't know, drawstrings, good condition. So I bought them. And these are Ebb and Flow. Uh, I believe this is a Lululemon brand, um, if I remember right. And they've got this cool lace on the, the bottom of the legs, so those should sell pretty well. It looked like that specific pair went for about $35 uh, online. And then this one, Actually, oh, this is an Ann Taylor size medium. And you know, again, these are leggings slash yoga pants, workout pants, whatever the case may be. I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but um, I know that they sell pretty well. And here's another pair that I could not figure out what the brand was. Um, Again, I'm thinking that these are another Lululemon. If you know what they are and you watch this video, please shoot me a, a comment and let me know what they are. Um, size large, again, workout yoga pants. And I think the coolest find of the clothes is this set of Zoolander branded items i don't know what they are these are like uh, faux leather like stretchy pants i don't know what the heck they are but again like i said this says derek zoolander on here and they're i think they had a tag somewhere else i think I know it just says standard for the size. I, I don't know if that means like a kind of a one size fits all or what, or fits most, but, and then the shirt to go with it. And 
this is also the standard size and Derek Zoolander. So in really good condition. I don't know if those are pajamas or what they are, but just super cool. And then I got this uh, USA um, Nike dry fit soccer jersey. Hopefully that will go well since soccer's starting or started. I don't know. I don't pay attention to sports, so I'm not sure. But, uh, and then we've got this Hugo Boss um, polo. Really good condition, size. Uh, this tag is covering it. I can't see it. It's like a golf shirt. It does not say. I'm going to have to get that little tag off of there. But I think this is probably a large or extra large. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, the little tag from either dry cleaning or something is on there. And then another t-shirt that I pretty much just had to get. Uh, it's not old. Uh, this is also... Looks to be a large. Uh, it's just an, a brown M&M t-shirt. Um, uh, in good condition, thought it should come home with me. And uh, we've sold a lot of Columbia stuff, so I thought I would see how the Columbia sh like board shorts sell and um, just see how they go. I know that board shorts are very popular. Summer is coming up, so... We need to uh, try our hand at some other clothes. Uh, we're buying mostly clothes now and some hard goods um, and hats. I didn't get any hats this time. I didn't find anything. And I have so many San Francisco Giants hats that it's not even funny. I, that's all I find because I live in California. I live three and a half hours away from San Francisco. So, and this is a cool camo three button pullover um, long sleeve shirt. Actually, it looks like a three quarter sleeve uh, camo Converse shirt. Uh, it feels like it could be kind of like a uh, thermal type material for hunting. It's actually pretty cool. And here is actually a Reebok polo it was just in such good condition um, and it is uh, size medium it looks like um, really good condition has the little Reebok on the chest and that's it there's nothing else on this shirt so it's in really really good condition um, and thought it would make us a little money same with this t-shirt. This t-shirt is actually really, really cool. Um, it is a Dixon, and it says Flannel Company on it. And I don't know what else. It's got this really cool graphic on the back, and then the small graphic on the chest. That's uh, extra large. It was just a super cool shirt. I tried to look this one up too. Uh, this is when I really started having an issue um, it was one of the first t-shirts I looked at and it just seemed to stall out when I tried to look at that one up. Uh, and then I found this really cute um, Hello Kitty top. It's a woman's top. It does have a little thread here that we can get rid of. But all in all it was in really really good condition. It's a size large women's. So really cute top. And then I found this uh, real tree. Sorry, there was an outside cat. Um, found this real tree small flannel long shirt. 
long sleeve shirt, not long shirt. Um, and then I think I only got two long sleeve shirts this time. Uh, well, dress shirts. The uh, salmon one and this one. This is a J. Crew size medium long sleeve shirt. It's uh, like a blue color, almost like a really light denim look to it, but it's not denim. But it's a really nice shirt. I know that J. Crew, I hear that J. Crew doesn't sell quite as well, but uh, hopefully. And then I found this uh, Tommy Hilfiger um, long sleeve women's nightgown, actually. So it's a, it's a night shirt, not nightgown. Uh, it is size medium, and so since it's Tommy Hilfiger, I thought I would give that one a try uh, as well. Like I said, I was kind of flying by the seat of my pants with the most of this stuff because I could not do much comps on anything. Um, and then this one actually is a really cool t-shirt. Uh, it's a 2XL on a Gildan Tag soft style ring spun. Um, but it's got this cool little graphic on front and then it says production crew on back I honestly just thought it was a cool t-shirt and somebody would think it was cool as well um, It's in pretty good condition aside from the little pinholes that I see all over the front that I did not notice In the store that was darker than this area is right here, but uh, not not in bad condition either. Guess we'll see. That one might be a gimme. And then also I couldn't find anything about this shirt at all. This says uh, pro level professional gaming wear. Um, it says game pipe. Yeah, game piper. And then it actually has a little tag at the bottom that says official esports wear uh, I've never seen anything like this I couldn't find anything like that um, I thought the graphic was super cool so I bought it um, and then I saw this Route 66 shirt uh, size large in really good condition this actually looks more like an extra large that's a pretty big shirt for a large um, but it's just a really nice striped shirt in super good condition And then last but not least There's another pair of board shorts. Actually, I forgot to go over something. I Forgot one thing uh, another pair of board shorts. This is actually Hawaiian Tropic um, size 34 uh, board shorts Super good condition. Um, I don't know if these are vintage or not. I know Hawaiian Tropic has been around for ever. And I didn't find anything made in the USA. Like nothing at all. Um, so, and the last thing that I completely forgot that I stuck on top of the plates because they were in my way from the other one are these tapes here. So these are the Great Band Error Reader's Digest Stereo 8 8 track tapes as you can see there these are new are they are in the box and it's tape one two three and number four is still sealed in its original plastic so I don't know what the, the comps are on this. I'm probably going to have to do quite a bit of research because 8-track tapes are not super popular anymore, but hopefully they're coming back. But with one being sealed in the case, or in the plastic, and having four out of the series, I don't know how many there are, uh, this could be pretty good and they were a buck a piece so I, I could not pass those up and 
that actually concludes um, all of my sourcing for today. I will again try and put comps up on the screen um, for at least a few of these items. Not all of them, obviously, because that would just be ridiculous and take probably hours and hours to get that done. So it would just be too much. But um, I'll throw some of the good ones up there and let you guys see them. And hopefully you enjoyed my video, enjoyed the 81 items that I just went through in, you know, agony, hopefully not agonizing for you. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed it and again if you see anything that you know more about than i do let me know that'd be awesome throw it in the comments um and let me know about stuff and if not you know hit that like button and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button i gained three more subscribers over the last couple weeks which is super awesome and I thank you guys, and I just want to keep growing my channel, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Smitty out.